Hello, I am Binduji Gowda. I have uh, recently completed my PhD in uh, VLSI design from IIITB under the guidance of Professor Madhav Rao. Uh, I am happy to share my experience here. How would you describe your research to a general audience or someone outside your field? My research focus was on uh, the hardware CNN accelerator designs using approximate multipliers. Uh, to put this in a simple words, uh, CNN stands for convolutional neural networks. They are the deep learning model by which computer or uh, the machines learn and understand the images. So uh, they were inspired by how our brains work. Uh, consider an example of a child who is trying to learn about the images and given with an image of uh, trying to learn about the animals and given with an image of uh, elephant. So child's brain first focuses on uh, the parts of the elephant and try to understand how is this different from rest of the animals. So it first focuses on the long trunk, the wide and the very flat ears and the huge and the bulk body of the elephant. This Then the child puts all these ideas together and then understands that this is the image of an elephant and this is how the elephant looks like. Similarly, CNN also learns the similar way. So during the training uh, phase of the CNN, the CNN model is given with uh, uh, the images and the CNN learns by the features of the uh, uh, features of the images or the object in the images part by part. That is, it focuses on the uh, features or the patterns or any curvatures or the um, edges. So based on that, it tries to recognize or understand how uh, what object is in the given image. Uh, but the major problem was in the hardware implementation of the CNN, uh, which is still a challenging task. So uh, the hardware implementation results with a very high um, hardware cost in terms of area, power and delay as the CNN involves a uh, numerous number of computations uh, including the arithmetic operations. So as a part of my research work, uh, we determined the arithmetic unit uh, which, which was contributing more to this and it was identified that multipliers are the one that were contributing more to the hardware cost of this CNNs. Hence, uh, we explored approximate computing techniques uh, to realize and come up with approximate multiplier designs of various types and categories, uh, which and when they were employed, which one then were, they were employed in CNN resulted with a very significant hardware benefits. So this was about my um, research topic. Can you describe your supervisor's role in guiding and shaping your research journey? Supervisors play a very crucial role in uh, any research journey. I consider myself very fortunate to have worked under the guidance of uh, Professor Madhav Rao. From the beginning, uh, from framing the uh, research problem till the end, he had been a very constant support. Uh, while he also allowed us or gave us the freedom uh, to explore our own ideas independently, uh, through his regular reviews, constructive feedbacks and the discussions, uh, shaped this entire work uh, very successfully. Uh, it was a very enriching experience with him. How would you describe the research facilities and overall ecosystem at IIIT Bangalore? IIITB has a very well established uh, research labs. So each research scholar is given with a dedicated workspace. Uh, they're all, they also have the collaborative workspace where uh, all the research scholars including MS by research and PhD scholars can come together and have a cross-disciplinary interactions. One of the most helpful privilege that a research scholars at IIITB get is uh, the 24 bar 7 access to the research lab. So this flexibility allows the research scholars to work according to their productive hours. So we have seen here the research scholars working very early in the morning and some prefer to work uh, late at night. So this flexibility allows them to uh, work deeply in their research uh, without any time restrictions. Apart from this, we have various technical talks, seminars and workshops that are scheduled throughout the year. So this gives the exposure uh, to the latest advancements in the research. It also helps in the collaborations as well as the interdisciplinary talks. At IIITB, we are also encouraged to submit and publish our works at various international conferences and journals. Our research scholars are also allotted with a grand sum of uh, conference funds. The researchers can use these funds to attend any international conferences uh, happening at any part of the world. Uh, I, I had the opportunity to present my work at a um, uh, few of my works at the international conferences including DAC, uh, ICCD, ISVLSI which were all held in USA. 
So this conference support helped me present my work to a wider range of audience as well as connect with the international or the research minds from the various parts of the world. What advice would you give to students aspiring to pursue a PhD at IIIT Bangalore? I strongly recommend IIITB for those who are uh, very passionate about uh, doing research. Uh, if you are looking for a supportive, healthy as well as a resource rich environment, then it has to be IIITB. Uh, we have very good faculty team here who are uh, uh, expert in their own domain, uh, who are all very supportive, uh, encouraging and uh, very approachable. So if you plan to do your research and looking for such healthy environment, please consider IIITB.